So y'all know I'm a person that tries to stay into the know when it comes to TV shows and stuff. Nothing is out of my reach. I'm going to give everything a chance. So, so many people have been telling me, Josh, you got to watch P-Valley. I was like, anything with the letter P in front of it, I'm on that P-Valley because it can only mean one thing in my opinion. So I skipped season one, which was a big mistake, and I went straight to season two. So I had to get caught up, right? P-Valley. P... If you are into a lot of drama, if you are into a lot of serious tones wrapped around Coochie and how powerful that thing is, I am trying my best to not get banned on social media. I'm trying my hardest to speak about this in a way that y'all can understand without, without being too explicit. That patch of hell got power. That patch of hell runs rules and will conquer the world. Pete Valley is about a gentleman's club based in a made up town in Mississippi on, on the Lodo. I believe that time is, is real. Y'all just trying to hide it made up in Mississippi. And it's about the lives of dancers and what goes on and trying to make this money and survive. And it takes place in real time. Meaning they went through COVID during the season. And then it's got a rapper named Lil murder. All the words, all the names in the world. You could have called yourself Heath. You could have called yourself Kevin. You could have called yourself Tyrone. You called yourself Lil murder when the police and the fans come knocking in season three don't say nothing to me because we told you wait pause let's take a step back now little murder look like the person that is standing kitchens and whip it to his wrist get tied right but then you find out that little murder had a relationship and and when he, when he was locked up before he was little murder why he was little murder little murder was getting his leg pushed back behind his ear i wasn't prepared for that wait back to the future then this one lady she's having some financial troubles so she said you know what i ain't got no problem being the other woman long as y'all fill this bag up. I, I applaud her because she made an executive decision. But the person in the relationship that she was into, the, the wife started feeling her in a way that she didn't expect and the other person didn't expect. And now the other person is hating because the wife and the side chick is dating, congratulating, modulating a whole lot of masturbation on the inflammation with no, um, with no, um, with no, Oh, I, I, I don't even, when, when, they fornicating under cardinal knowledge, okay? Um, the lace front wigs in this show are exceptional, if there are any. The makeup, the dancing, the atmosphere, they deal with domestic violence, abuse of relationship, um, sexual abuse. A lot of serious topics get thrown into this show, which I wouldn't expect. If 90210 was based around a strip club and a lot of Afro-American people, this is what you would get. If if Living Single was about strippers and Queen Latifah ran a strip club, this is what you would get. If SpongeBob SquarePants stopped lying and admitted that Sandy was a pimp from Texas that moved to Bikini Bottom to run the damn show and Mr. Krabs was was um was Uncle Clifford, this is what you probably would get. P Valley is not for the weak. P Valley is not for the blind. P Valley is P Valley is so. There's a lot going on in P-Valley. If you into like this great drama, I watch P-Valley, but please be advised. It's some intense, intense seeds. Episode five, I almost had to turn it off a couple times. Thank y'all for requesting P-Valley, and I can't wait for season three, I, I think.